It's an issue every city across the nation is grappling with. As 12 News Tia McKenzie reports, the law enforcement shortage is making it hard for departments both big and small. Ranking among the lowest in the country for law enforcement salaries, Mississippi officers are faced with some tough decisions. At the end of the day, if the guy just looks at his paycheck and he can make more here than there, then he's going to go. A little more than a year ago, the city of Clinton took a major blow, losing nine officers from its staff. And it's all about recruitment and retention, says Mayor Phil Fisher. He and his administration are looking to address issues by making some changes to the upcoming budget. Two years ago, the city of Clinton increased its budget to $1 million, with the majority going toward public safety. In the last few years, with the various movements and the attitudes toward policing throughout the country changing, uh, you know, your, your pool of potential police officers is not growing. If anything, it's staying the same, maybe even shrinking. So now that you've added the Capitol Police, you've got another entity trying to pull, pull out of the pool that's the same size. They're able to offer higher salaries. Now with talks of pay increases within Capitol Police is impacting communities throughout the metro. We've doubled since I've been in office in 10 years. We have basically uh, just under doubled our police force size. And the reason for that is because uh, we, we have to, to, to keep the police out. You know, we're, we're, we're the third safest city in the state. According to a 2021 survey by the Police Executive Research Forum, agencies reported an overall 18 percent increase in the resignation rate between 2020 and 2021 compared to 2019 and 2020. Reporting in Clinton, Tia McKenzie, 12 News.